Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Ben's Tech from the Man Cave Podcast. Before we start the video, I just wanted to give a shout out. Um, just drop us a subscribe um, down on YouTube and give us a like on Instagram. So what do we bring to you today? I uh, wanted to do just a nice short tech video um, now part of what I'm wanting to do with the channel is kind of to give people a nice affordable way to get the best tech. Before I kind of go into this review, disclaimer, I used to work for Apple. A lot of the guys that know me uh, kind of always joke, I say, oh Ben's the genius. And uh, yeah, uh, so I used to work at Apple. This review is actually around Apple and mainly around how to try and create a affordable Mac setup, regardless of Apple's absolutely ludicrous pricing on some of its products. Once you've decided to get a Mac, um, you've then got to think about how do you want to get that thing up and running. So just up here, I've got my 2015 MacBook Pro. That's connected now to my new 4K LG display. Uh, you can look at the review on the channel. I've set this up through a Thunderbolt to DisplayPort. It's bringing 4K, 60 frames a second loveliness to my daily, daily life and I absolutely love it. But obviously I'm not able now to use the built-in keyboard. So I've had to go out and find a new keyboard and a new mouse to go with the new display. So if I was to go down the Apple route, I would be forking out a lot of money. And I mean an astronomical amount of money. Why? Apple, why? Today, I'm going to bring you two alternatives instead of having to fork out up to £250 on Apple Tech. Here we go. So the first piece is nice and easy. It's the Anchor wireless keyboard. With Anchor, uh, you've probably heard of them for making really good things like cables, uh, power banks, and they've really got into an amazing third party space. I recommended this to my parents a couple of years ago after their Mac keyboard died, just died. They were kind of worried about having to go out and spend another 80 to 100 pounds on getting an Apple keyboard. Now, they've had Apple products since I was about 10 years old, so they were very, very used to always having the official Apple product. And that's why I wanted to do this review. You don't need that anymore. Apple, I'm really sorry, but you are asking people to spend 100, like, how much is it? 150 pounds on a keyboard. Like, I'm sorry, but I traded in my PlayStation for a PS4 Pro and could have done that multiple times at the same price. Like, it's a keyboard. This keyboard, so I'm going to magically unbox it. So this lovely keyboard. Um, so it's micro USB charging, nice and simple, as all of the peripherals are now. Um, not USB-C yet, which is good for me because I don't have anything that's USB-C. Connects through Bluetooth, so nothing's connected to the Mac. I've just connected to Bluetooth, and you press the space by press any keyboard within a second. It's alive, just like a Mac one to try and save power, and it types like a keyboard. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. Um, it's a nice, clean look. Um, it's the smaller version, so I don't need the numerics. Um, it's got like little controls as well, so you can change the Bluetooth to kind of go to different devices, which is pretty cool. So if you've got a multiple device setup, so let's say you've got your Mac and you've got an iPad, but you want to type on the iPad, just press the button, it changes the Bluetooth. Um, something that I don't actually think the Apple keyboard does. This is all yours for a feisty £17 almost tenth of the price that Apple charge. Do you get 10 times less features? No, no you don't. And do you get to type on an external monitor? Yes. Okay, so yeah, one nil to anchor. The second part of obviously having your Mac connected to a external monitor is a mouse. Uh, now, Apple obviously do both a mouse and a trackpad. Uh, I've not got an alternative to a trackpad yet because I'm going to give it to them. Apple have nailed it with the trackpad. That is a brilliant piece of tech. Um, but it also costs a hundred pounds. I went through the website again today. I just can't believe how much it is. This is a two and a half gig 
wireless mouse. Um, only downside, you do have like a little nib, uh, so you do lose one of your USB ports. Um, so you can spend a little bit more money and get built-in Bluetooth, which might be worth it for some people. Um, but yes, it's from Jellyco. It's crazy. Uh, this cost me eight pounds. An amazing unboxing again. Yeah, this cost me eight pounds. Um, what does it do? It goes around the screen, uh, it clicks on things that I ask it to click. Um, it's actually very quiet, which is quite good for me editing at, later at night so I don't wake up um, anybody else in the house. Uh, yeah, and it, and it does what it says on the tin. Um, it's a mouse, it goes around the screen, it does what it needs to do. Um, using it with a keyboard, um, I'm able to do every control that my computer needs to. Uh, and it cost me, how much? Uh, 25 pounds. 25 pounds uh, instead of the astronomical amount of money which is 280 pounds minimum from Apple so if I wanted to buy this MacBook Pro which now is also an astronomical amount of money I'd then have to buy their keyboard and mouse like I'd almost have to finance the keyboard and mouse like it's unbelievable my advice out there to any of you guys that are out there um, professionals um, just anybody who's looking to expand their setup um, with any sort of display um, for a MacBook Pro. I actually think it's the best of both worlds. Having something like a MacBook Pro, having something like a display, it means when you're at home, you've got that larger kind of space to be able to use. And when you're out and about on the move, you've got your portable device. Uh, definitely better than something like a 27 inch iMac, um, which is pretty stationary all the time. I'll leave a description down below of all the products that I found. I've really enjoyed uh, expanding my setup and doing it at a really, really affordable price. Um, not hating on you, Apple. You do make incredible products, but I don't know. Last few years, I just seen everything's gone up in price. And for a keyboard and mouse to cost 180 pounds, just it's just absolutely mental. And on that bombshell, you know where to find me. I'll be in the man cave.